relic was stolen from an unknown pharaoh's tomb. This desecration called the curse down upon us. Words are not just elements of speech or writing, because they can be used to strengthen the effects of magic, which is the art of directing and controlling energy. When spoken out loud, words transform into frequencies and vibrations that could be used to direct energy. This is one of the first steps to creating magic effects. Most people will laugh at the idea of magic being real, but only if they knew what magic really is and how magic is being used to control them. The world is dominated by magic. Until you train your eyes to see how magic is used to control you, you will never know how the world really works. The controllers who pull the strings of politicians are well aware of how magic works. Many of them actually practice the art of magic, which is why they are sometimes referred to as the dark magicians. Unfortunately, they like to use magic for power and evil purposes, instead of using it to change the world into a better place. The most powerful thing in the universe is energy. If you learn how to control and direct this energy, you will become one of the most powerful people on earth. Why do you think the controllers, the dark magicians, are so obsessed with magic and energy? To begin to understand, we need to start with the beginning of major beliefs. This brings us to Mesopotamia, also known as Ancient Babylon. So, this foundation starts post-flood in the first known civilization, Mesopotamia. The mystery religion of Ancient Babylon is the beginning of paganism. This period begins after the great flood that destroyed man. The mystery religion has been told in many different stories through many millenniums. It consists of a lot of names of many different gods that are in fact all actually the same gods. Different cultures, different times, different languages, but all the same story, figures, and structure. This is one reason why people try to include Christianity into this. The problem is they're just missing key information. Now to clarify and explain in the simplest of terms what the mystery religion of Babylon is, it's simply polytheism and or paganism. The story of Nimrod is very simple to understand. A man in the beginning, claiming power over other people, claiming himself to be God. It's a simple, easy concept to get. The real twist starts, like I said, with the woman. This woman who comes into this picture is Semiramis. Semiramis was the first wife of Cush. She also was the mother of Nimrod. She claimed to be divinely born. After Cush lost power, in order to stay in power, she did the unthinkable thing in our modern opinion, she married her son Nimrod. Then shortly after Nimrod was killed, she became pregnant and found another way to stay in power. She told the people it was the spirit of Nimrod that impregnated her. She claimed she was having a virgin birth from the spirit of Nimrod. Semiramis slept with no man and was impregnated by Nimrod's spirit, she claimed. Nimrod was now a father and Semiramis was the mother. This is the start and the beginning of father and mother god worship. It is the primary driver of polytheism, but most people will never make the actual connection. You see, Semiramis was able to convince Nimrod's followers that her son was the fulfillment of God's prophecy about Jesus in Genesis 3.15. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. The people believed that her son would be the savior to defeat the serpent. Reality being, it was actually the serpent they'd be worshiping. She managed to convince her followers that Nimrod did not die, but he ascended to the sun. She claimed it was the rays of the sun god, Nimrod, that caused her to conceive. He was now to be worshiped now as Baal, the sun god. Either way, it's his story that must be understood to understand what the minds of pagans believe. Nimrod communicated with the spirit world which guided him to complete great accomplishments like the Tower of Babel. He obtained occult knowledge that gave him power over their people. Nimrod started the first world government, where they all practiced the same religion, 
and were governed under him. They performed human sacrifices and he was in control. They worshiped him as God because he outright challenged Yahweh. Basically, black magic is a process of using entities to accomplish a goal through a ceremonial magic. Paul writes, by means of secret processes of ceremonial magic, it is possible to contact these invisible creatures and gain their help in some human undertaking. Yes, the spectacle, the dark mirror, and what better entrance into those caverns measureless to man poet Coleridge had envisioned in his mystic eye. The most dangerous form of black magic is the scientific perversion of occult power for the gratification of personal desire. The real members believed that they could use their telepathic abilities to communicate with these otherworldly beings and give the Nazis some sort of advantage over their opponents. Maria Orisk began getting messages in an unknown language and couldn't transcribe them, so began meeting with psychic mediums and with key members of secret esoteric societies, one of which is the Order of the Black Sun. This is the very first time we have ever permitted cameras into the inner sanctum of the Order of the Temple of Astarte. I am here. What do you desire of me? There is a complete control over the human race. And to think that black magic could be used to control the masses, as Hall points out, is disturbing. This is still going on today. Why is it so hard to believe? Perhaps because our understanding of limits of reality is controlled by the very same people accused of these practices. The masses deprived of their birthright of understanding and groveling in ignorance. Now these derived or suffix angels are not as personified as the archangels of the quarters or the angels of the planetary spheres but they do provide a direct channel of power through which the four archangels of the quarters control each and every one of the spirits of the brass vessel What is ceremonial magic? The works of multiple scholars, from Plato to Manly P. Hall and further down the line, suggest that it is essentially the use of rituals and techniques to invoke and control spirits or life forms that could be existing within other dimensions or worlds. For example, according to Hall, a magician enveloped in sanctified vestments and carrying a wand inscribed with hieroglyphic figures could, by the power vested in certain words and symbols, control invisible inhabitants of the elements and the astral world. While the elaborate ceremonial magic of antiquity was not necessarily evil, there arose from its perversion several false schools of sorcery, or black magic. Yet if we examine the works of Plato, we see he specifically condemns, both in the laws and in the Republic, the idea that gods can be influenced by the performance of certain rituals, called necromancy or magical attack. He believed that those who try to control the spirit world should be penalized. Socrates, about whom Plato wrote much, also spoke of an entity that guided him. It was never given a name, but references to it range from daemon to daemon. Socrates believed that this entity was a gift and manifested itself in the form of the voice within, something we all possess, 
His communication with this entity was actually used as one of the charges against him when he was put to death. This is well documented in the Popolo Vu. If such information is true, it's hardly surprising. Human beings have always been subject to the lure of power, driven by their ego, greed, and short-sightedness. It's disconcerting to imagine this power of working with the spirit world in the hands of those who would use it for their own reasons, taken by the power of black magic. Napoleon Bonaparte, the French military and political leader, is another example. He used to tell of a little red man of destiny, a spirit that appeared at a royal palace. Apparently, when something important was happening, he would appear, this man, and what others would consider to be silly superstitions and folklore beliefs genuinely influenced Napoleon and his actions and guided his campaigns. According to Hall, the Little Red Man of Destiny is an example of the disastrous results of permitting elemental beings to dictate the course of human procedure. Phenomena like these appear in various cultures during different time periods all throughout human history. So what makes us think these practices have stopped today? According to Hall, the complete book of magic science was first published in the original British Museum. This is also mentioned by other studies of occult philosophy, like Francis Berry and his Magus, where he describes the use of symbols and more things relating to the occult. Living creatures existing in a world we cannot perceive have been the subject of lore dating back countless years it's embedded in the stories and passed down orally and written about in multiple religious texts like the Bible and the Quran. Do you have an oracle for us? I have an oracle for all those who would seek me. It is enough that you have opened the gates. Now, each one must make her own sacred journey. Great Goddess Astarte, we thank thee for having attended our rites and granting our wishes. And as we release your special presence to return to your lovely realm, the spirit, who is actually an ancient god or a goddess, and you should apologize to them when they appear. Now the reason is this. Our ancestors transformed these ancient deities into demons. For this reason, you should treat even the lowest of their number with respect and the gods and goddesses among them with veneration. Isn't it interesting how all the secret societies and clubs Occult clubs are in the same, roughly the same area in Washington, D.C. Today in Vatican City, they're holding a celebration of the birth of the Roman Catholic Sun Child. And also accompanied by other ancient symbology that should make it absolutely clear that this represents the birth of the Sun God of the Babylonian Mystery Schools. the reason for your pain and anger. If you do not act, this country will burn to the ground. 